Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Stealing from the Greats, a segment where I break down the best subscription signups out there so we can learn what do's and don'ts we can apply to our own subscription websites. Now, today I'm gonna look at BrioBox. Uh, BrioBox uh, was actually uh, connected with Alex before, but BrioBox has been recently voted as the top coolest, top five coolest tech subscriptions to try out in 2020 three by BuzzFeed. Big, cool shout out for them, but I figured I'd do a little bit of a tear down and maybe give some constructive criticism to uh, this signup flow. I know that the team over there has been working on their signup and I think there's a lot of cool things that we can learn um, from them. So let's take it from the very, very top. First of all, um, start the 4th with a bang. Um, obviously playing into 4th of July, uh, pieces and all I'm seeing, $69 value, free gift with box, promo code USA. Now, there's no call to action here and it doesn't actually tell me what it is or who it's for. Again, dropping the ball, I think, on some of the basics, and this is just BreaBox.com. This is their homepage. So, again, dropping the ball on homepage positioning of what, is, what does this brand do and who is it for? So, they're not telling me that their coolest products when you um, that you never knew you needed, um, although that is a really really good self-aware um, positioning statement. A box full of fun curated new gadget delivered to your door every quarter. Now there's always this battle of promos, of like seasonal stuff or top of funnel stuff. How do we how do we handle this? And it is a split testing type of question. You should always think about. Um, what I would recommend still is leading always with your brand positioning and the coolest products you ever knew because this is the why. This is why would I care about looking deeper? Why would I care uh, to scroll? It tells you if this product is for you and tells you what it does. Um, so in my mind, as always, I follow the three-step formula of brand value, product value, subscription value, or social proof, that kind of stuff. So, and we're looking at drivers and barriers. So right now, the brand barrier to me is I'm not sure who you're for and what you do. So coolest products, I wish they told me a little more about the tech gadgets right up at the, at the front. So the coolest products you never knew you needed. Um, but, uh, so I understand the self-awareness aspect of that. It's probably a big gift, um, a gifting piece. But um, what I would probably put is the coolest gadgets you never knew you needed. Uh, given that this is a very tech specific box. Um, so, but generally we've got a very solid and great, first of all, the basics are nailed um, right here. Clear positioning, clear product imagery with social proof right underneath. Brand value, product value, social proof right underneath. Boom, 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 exactly. So this is a lot of businesses can learn from this. By the way, this is built on, if I remember correctly, on Shopify's debut, which is a Shopify 1.0 OG version. Um, and I can tell by these icons right here, which yes, these are very much, uh, very much what we're looking at. So, but they started off with the brand um, or they started off with the promo, hit and miss. There's no call to action. I honestly, I think it would be a more powerful converting tool unless they're driving very specific home type of traffic, but this is a homepage. This should be a landing page approach. It's not for your homepage. Now, what would be more powerful is if you had the coolest products you would never knew you needed, coolest gadgets you never knew you needed, um, rated top five by BuzzFeed, blah, 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 um, right here. And then underneath, it was 4th of July promo, free gift with every box, get started, sign up, and then you have the call to action here. Um, they also have this product carousel, uh, which again, basically is the same thing, just different styles of boxes. Now here's the problem is that I definitely didn't notice it here. Um, now, obviously I understand most website visitors are likely, especially for this brand, will be coming from mobile, but for the sake of this product, uh, or for the sake of our own reviews, I'm doing all of this on desktop. But don't dismiss desktop purchasers. They're actually most highly converting uh, purchasers, uh, generally speaking, obviously. Your results may vary. Um, however, um, carousels are quite unnecessary and they actually take up loading times. Google doesn't like them. They might hurt your SEO, um, My, in my opinion. <laughs> um, and uh, they make you feel like you're 
giving people a lot of content um, and you're showing these because the copy is identical, it's just that the boxes are different in this carousel. Um, the, the, so the upside to you, you might think, or is that you're showing more product and people are seeing more product, but they're really not because I promise you that 99% uh, of visitors, 95% of visitors would never click past the first screen. Um, so I would rather take that and feature the products and the box, um, the box and the diversity of, of products underneath and say June box, May box, Diapro box, so on and so forth. Um, what I really, really like, so again, coming back to brand, product, trust, social proof, basically um, validation of the claims. Um, useful, fun, unique. I really like all of that. Again, coming back, really clear copy. See what's uh, in our previous boxes. Again, uh, cl <laughs> click to expand the image. Um, you know what? We might laugh at, and giggle at things like that, but um, uh, it's good that they are trying to make this page more optimized and people to let people know that, oh, they probably have done some heat maps and they realize, oh, people are not clicking on these images to expand to see what, what these products are. Now, um, one thing I really, 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 really like is um, that they're choosing not to show pictures of the box because that's, you don't really care about the box. You care about the items inside the box. So instead of, and I do wish they did a little better of a job of telling you what this is because all I'm seeing is, okay, it's a portable vacuum cleaner. I mean, uh, okay, cool. I can't even, uh, so that's one, one item. Um, I'm not sure what this is. I'm guessing it's a it's a uh, like an easy way to boil an egg. I don't know if it's a microwave warmer. No idea. Um, uh, soap smart lotion, smart soap dispenser, smart dish soap dispenser. Again, no real. So they're telling me they're useful, fun, and unique. They're telling me they're the coolest, but I'm not exactly quite getting that from the product photography they're having on there on this big landing page. Okay, so that's kind of, I'm, I'm guessing that's a projector, slide projector, not sure, I mean, smart uh, padlock. Um, so a lot of these, like some kind of drone, a lot of these, I get a gist of what they are, but I'm still not sure. It's like, oh, okay, this is what I'm gonna get. I think I have an idea of whether it's this for me, if I'm a tech nerd and I wanna treat myself, yes. If I am, uh, if my significant other, if I'm looking for a gift for somebody and they are a tech nerd, this is the type of stuff um, they want. So at a glance, this section is great because it tells you, oh, these are tech gadgets that are cool, um, I guess. That's the, uh, the cool factor is really, really hard to convey. Um, I do think some kind of overlay on images, text overlay on images, um, would be like an arrow and, you know, kind of benefit. It's like instant battery life, best in class, something, something. So a little bit of that feature benefit salesmanship on some of this photography would be great. Um, like celebrating your birthday four times a year. So they're telling you, okay, so this is four times a year is when you get this box. There's, uh, And I actually really like this idea of treat yourself, this brand approach of treating yourself. And they actually have a really good, um, I think, brand awareness or brand self-awareness, not a different concept, but brand self-awareness where um, they know that it's a treat. They're telling you that if you're looking for a treat that's technical, that's tech toys, this is something you should think about. Um, who doesn't like opening presents? So again, present gift, planting those ideas um, to you. And here's the crazy part. It's like, we're not seeing any call to actions on this website uh, until we're like uh, halfway down the page. And then there's this clearly not desktop optimized video um, that doesn't really give me much. Um, again, it's static, uh, static video, no, no audio. Like I can't really engage with it. It seems like from a, it's, 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 it's a shortcut. I know exactly what they're doing here. It's like, man, we can put a, a cool lifestyle video. We took so much time and effort to build this cool lifestyle video and produce it. Um, and we just don't have a good one for desktop. And let's just slide something in there. It's just better than nothing. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that on your website because it creates noise. It distracts people and it does more harm than good, actually. Because you have people have a limited attention span and your comprehension 
um, drops when you fill the page with things like this. So I might see this and get distracted and not get into the how it works because it is actually really, really important, uh, especially for people who don't understand that it's, this is a subscription product, which is, again, something that they've never mentioned uh, prior to this. It's a box. Uh, people, some, most, or a good chunk of audiences, uh, stats on this, I can't find a good, uh, good one, but people who like, uh, so who um, correlate a box to a subscription, generally from what we found from just anecdotal evidence from like user testing uh, on our end is quite high. Um, and I'd say probably like 60 to 70%. Some people don't so make that association. So, um, so this is something for you to test out with your audience. Um, do they know what a box is or do you have to push up and explain to them that this box means a subscription box? Does it mean a cancel any time box? Does it mean um, a prepay box? So here, choose your plan, get the box, enjoy something new. Um, generally, I would be a, a more of a proponent of choose your, choose your box. So plan, box size, um, enjoy, renew, skip, cancel type deal. So this is actually what I would uh, what I would promote. Again, give people the understanding of flexibility, be transparent, transparency builds trust, trust is valuable. So um, you have, uh, and again, so, so this is coming back to our product or brand value, product value, and social proof subscription value. So um, we have subscription policy. So basically, I, I used to call it brand product policy social proof, trust really is what we're trying to build here and understanding. So they're built, they're explaining to you the, um, this is the policy part, this is the trust part, this is the clarity transparency part. It's like how it works, more social proof, more labels and social proof. Um, here's what the current box looks like. This is very interesting because this is literally the box that you get right now. This, if you were to pay, so this is literally the product you're buying. If you were to pay now, this is what you would get. So, um, spoiler number one, spoiler number two. Um, so you get two pieces, and now I have to ask myself: Is is this? Is, are these the two products that I get? Can I find out more? So, we've got a seasonal box. We've got an annual box. Um, I do. Um, I I kind of wish that companies kind of shied away from this and um, hiding basically the, the total, the checkout total. I know that it's easier to compare basically apples to apples, but um, again, split test these, but I do actually really like that they are um, telling you really that this is the better way to do it, just to pay annually. Yes, up to $1,200 in total value. Um, this is, so basically the checkout number that I'm adding to cart is a lot different here. This is like a 4X upsell. And if you're trying to 4X upsell somebody, um, you need a little more than just like, hey, this is what you'll get. You'll get some savings. Give us uh, a lot of this money up front and you'll get free shipping up to, so you'll get more boxes uh, and you'll get 10% off. So. To me, that's not quite enough. Give them some perks. Give them exclusive access to the website, early access to sales, access to past boxes, so on and so forth. Um, so um, I do, not a huge fan of this uh, of this attempt at an upsell. Give them a free gift maybe of some kind. Um, but it is, prepaids are a fantastic way, I, before I criticize, to praise. First of all, pre-selling uh, pre or upselling an annual plan is brilliant because first of all, it curbs your churn big time and it explodes your average order value. So I highly recommend doing exactly this where you show the annual plan, upsell it from the monthly cancel anytime plan. Gift is a gift, so I'll click subscribe. And in this case, what I'm imagining is it takes me straight to checkout. Um, so it's telling me it's unavailable for my country region. That's fine. We're in Canada land. Happy Canada Day to all of you who are in Canada. Um, but generally speaking, in my mind, that's a little lacking. Um, and also my cart is still empty. So again, dealing with some Shopify breakdowns, I couldn't, I, I can't see the box. Like I click get the box, I click subscribe, I cannot see the products. I'm not seeing that as part of the flow. So I would say um, show the product, show the photos, clear price, product, benefit, product, brand, trust. All right.
We'll see you on the next one. Cheers.